What's up YouTube, Jay Traveling here. Today, I'll show you my results on my 3060 mining Ethereum. Now yesterday, the one driver was leaked out, driver 470.05. Uh, it was a dev driver that uh, some miners got their hands on and found out that it could mine Ethereum and unlock the hash rate limiter. So at first, when I first started testing it, it didn't work for me, but then I did get it to work. I did a little more research, looked at some other comments on other YouTube channels and found out that there was a few things that needed to happen. So I had to move the graphics card on my rig. One, I couldn't have it on the riser. So I had to take it off the riser. So as you can see, it's on the motherboard now. It's in the um, normal PCI X16 slot. You can see I added a fan just for some cooling uh, just to keep this GPU cool because it is running a little hotter than my other ones. And you also have to have it plugged into either a monitor or have a dummy plug into it. I did order some dummy HDMI plugs. Uh, it, needs to, it needs to have a signal coming out of the GPU for it to work. Now I have seen in other places that they've gotten two to work. Right now I only had the one thing I can plug it into. So once I get the plugs, I'll check and see if I can get both my 3060s mining Ethereum. But for now, I just had the EVGA one mining Ethereum. Uh, but right now, we can go inside the computer here. And I can show you its hash rates. We'll look at the profitability of just the one card. Uh, I'm not going to do the whole rig. And we're just going to look at the 3060. And then we'll go through, you know, what it will take to break even. And we'll look at the price of Ethereum of what it's exchanging at. So let's go inside the computer now. And we'll check it all out. So here it is inside we're inside my test bench here uh we remoted in so i just have the one window up i do have uh, three other gpus in it and they're they're down here mining there's a couple other windows but this is the actual 3060 mining right now so it does fluctuate a tiny bit uh around 47 to 48 mega hash a second uh, most of the time it sits a little above 48 mega hash a second but uh, right now it's not as you can see we scroll up I was hitting 48.16, 48.6. Um, it's running pretty solid. So for this, you can see it's on Dagger Hashimoto here on Nice Hash, RTX 3060, and its uptime's been 15 hours and 24 minutes. So that's the big thing. 15 hours, it's been running like this. So that shows you that it is working right now. Now, my previous videos you would have seen the temps of this card were pretty or a little higher than this so it's actually a little bit cooler i have the one fan on it like i said pointed right at it but here you can see my overclocks so i've been on 64 power limit when i dropped it a little bit more i started losing some hash rate so i upped it to 64. i think if i gave it a little bit more power i could actually probably get my hash rate up just a tiny bit more but i'm going to leave it at 64 power because i don't want to pull too much wattage at the wall uh, i don't know a true system wattage for just this card because I have two other cards on it so I know with the other two cards it's pulling roughly 480 watts at the wall I believe um, I have a meter on it to check it but this one in the software says it's doing 108 watts I have the fan at 70% to help keep it cool I do leave the window open in my office right now uh, where my test bench is so it is relatively cool out now that it's still colder outside since it's going from winter to summer right now especially at night so i do leave it open just to keep my rig cool but here are the other overclocks so i have negative 200 on the core and i have plus 1250 on the memory now i have seen people push this up towards 1300 but since it's a dual fan card and i had have have had some cooling like not issues but it has been running a little warmer than my other cards i didn't want to push the memory too hard so i have it at 1250 but like I said, I was getting 48 mega hash a second with it. Uh, so that's pretty much it mining right now. Uh, and like I said, I got the other two on here. So this, that's that. And then there's this one. There's another one mining also uh, on excavator is what it is. So my 1080 is on excavator. And then my other one's actually mining Kapow, my other 3060. Uh, you know, Nice has those profit switching. It was on Octopus, but it actually switched to Kapow because it's saying that it's more profitable. But you can see the difficulty 
changing here. So let's see. I'm still at 47. So we'll say, I want to say it's getting 48, but we'll say 47.5 mega hash a second. Uh, I, I've seen it bounce between the two. So I guess it's depending on the difficulty of the block that it's on. So let's check out some profitability on it. So here's what it's trading at right now. Uh, so 47, so this is what we're trading at right now. 1788 for Ethereum, 55 for Bitcoin. So if we go to what to mine, which is what I use a lot. So these are my numbers from it, from this was not 21, it's 20. So these are my numbers for my hash rates. Uh, we'll drop this to 47 just to be on the safe side. On Octopus, I was getting roughly 40. On Kapow, I was getting roughly 20 out of this card. And on Ethereum, I was getting roughly 47 mega hash, uh, 47 to 48. So we'll calculate it. And obviously you'll see that uh, Ethereum is still crushing the competition as far as profitability. So this car is generating 522 a day with $4.84 profit. It doesn't have a riser anymore, so that's not that big. That's not really a big deal. So here you see it, it actually is profitable by like a penny <laughs> as far as Octopus versus Kapow. But if we look down here, it says Octopus on nice hash is more profitable than Kapow. So I, know, I just let it do its thing. I don't know why the other one switched, but first video we're just looking at Ethereum. So 484. So I still haven't made my Excel sheet yet, but so that card was the one I paid 389 for. So I had to pay ten dollars. So we'll say 400, and it's getting 484 a day profit. So divide by 484. Looking at 82 days, 30 days in a month. So we're looking at under just under three months. So 12 weeks, 13 weeks, about 13 weeks to pay it off. So, so that's not too bad. So we times it by, yeah, it's like 13, 13 weeks. So that would be just under three months. Not too bad for a card that was only like 400 bucks. The problem is with this is that I don't think I can run multiple on it, but we'll see. So those are my results with my 3060. Uh, mining on ETH, getting roughly 47.5 to 48 mega hash a second. Uh, it just ranged a little bit. But I mean, this, this driver does work, but there was just some workarounds, like I said, that you had to do. You had to have it on your motherboard. You had to have an HDMI plugged into it or an HDMI dummy plug to get a signal out of the GPU. Um, it won't work on a riser. And from now, there has been confirmation of two working at the same time, so I do have the plugs ordered. Hopefully, they'll be here tomorrow, and I can test out my MSI 3060 also. I'm hoping to get both of them going. If not, I'll just test out my 3060 uh, MSI one. I think I'll be able to get that one a slightly better mega hash a second. It's got better cooling, so I can probably push the VRAM a little bit better or a little bit harder. Um, but, you know, it's just odd that this driver leaked out, and I know... If People that have a 36 that didn't get the driver yet, it's going to get harder and harder to get it. But it is strange, and I know Son of a Tech made a very good point that you know Linus Tech Tip just did a video on Nice Hash. Nice Hash sponsored the video, and then all of a sudden this driver leaks that allows 13060 to mine that's plugged into a monitor at its full potential. So I know Nice Hash is used by a lot of PC gamers that when they're not using their computer for gaming or at all they just turn nice hash on the just to generate some uh disposable income for them or side money so i mean it's a little strange you made a good point there but for now i'm hoping to get my other gpu running i'd love to get my whole rig on ethereum and uh, make it very profitable plus if i can get the msi one slightly better hash rate i can pay it off sooner uh, I know the MSI Gaming X Trio one that I have was a more expensive 3060. It was about $530 USD. 
as opposed to the one that I paid 400 for. It's a pretty big difference for the same GPU almost, but the cooling on it and the size of it, I mean, it's just, and the aesthetics of the MSI one's obviously much better. So, I mean, I can't say that it's not worth the money, especially for someone that's doing some hard gaming. But for now, that one's just mining uh, Kapow right now to generate revenue for me. But, you know, thanks for checking this video out. Uh, now, I'd like to see what you guys are getting with your 3060s, if you have one running, or if you were able to get two running, what motherboard you're using, because I have heard certain motherboards can do it and some certain ones can't. It's a lot of speculation going on right now. Once I can get to do my own testing and see, I can confirm if this Z270 gigabyte board can or cannot do it. But, yeah, I'd like to see what you guys are doing if you have multiple running, uh, what hash rates you're getting, what overclocks you're using. If the driver didn't work for you at all, I have heard of issues where people haven't had it. And I have heard that it doesn't work on PCI 2.0. I don't know why you'd be mining on that old of a motherboard, but uh, you have to have 3.0 or 4.0. But you know, I'd like to see what you guys are doing. If the driver worked for you, what hash rates you're getting, you know, maybe if I can try some different overclocks. But thanks for checking this video out. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.